Hey everyone, um, so this is that very, very long awaited tutorial, and I apologize if you can hear what's going on in the background. They're actually doing some construction outside of my window. But this has been that very long awaited tutorial on how to do uh, the makeup of the ancient world. This is the Roman makeup, so it's actually quite heavily eyeliner or eyeshadow based. Um, through all my research, I've found out that they really like the colors blue and green and that they had a v great love of coal and um, longer lashes so if you want to this would all be a fantastic eye look to pop on some false eyelashes if you wanted to but I didn't just because I prefer a little bit more natural uh, mascara or uh, lash line and so I guess let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying an eyeshadow primer. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm just using the original one. And I'm applying it actually on both up my upper and lower lid. Um, I think it helps hold uh, lower liners a little bit better. Blend that in really, really well. And then I'm going to take a sort of setting powder. This is actually one that I made from a loose powder and some cornstarch. And this helps if you have any oil issues. For example, if you have oily eyelids, this just helps keep everything where it is. And it helps if you're using a cream shadow, which, technically speaking, I'm going to be using a cream base. This is a NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. So this is just a matte white. And I am just going to apply that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to blend it in so that it's smooth, there aren't any creases, and so that it's not quite so stark white. Um, just because it looks a little strange if you don't blend it out. And then I am going to get started with the eyeshadow. Now the brand of eyeshadow you use doesn't really matter. I'm using my Coastal Sense palettes because they have a wide range of colors. It more depends on which colors you're... It more, more th this look depends more on the colors you're using. So the first one I'm going to actually start off with is this sort of sky blue. And I'm going to be applying that. I'm actually going to be patting it onto my eyelid. Just packing it on. just so that it's even. And the reason why I'm going with this one as opposed to the actual other colors that I'm going to be using because they really liked blue and greens um, is because that I don't want that to be the main focus. So, where was I? This look also features as it, it is a blended out crease, but it starts off as a cut crease. And I'm going to be using a dark green. This is the Coastal Sense Mirage palette. And this is a, a sort of a metallic dark green. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to use, be using a little bit of this darker color here. Just knock off any loose powder. And then I normally start by just angling my brush from my outer corner up to the edge of my brow. And I keep my eye open and I sweep it across. That's how I do a cut crease. And then of course I go back and forth over it, you know, maybe extending a little bit. It helps blend it in into the lid color as well. And then I'm going to take a, f so you can see that. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to go over it. And I'm really going to be blending a lot at the top where I want it to blend into my highlight color. So that it's not quite so, not quite as defined. So after I do that, then I'm going to go back to the Prism palette again. And I'm actually going to be taking a con concealer brush. And I'm going to be using sort of an off creamy white, cream colored white. And I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone, blend it in a little bit into the the uh, crease and then 
I like to go over it again once more with the fluffy brush, the fluffy crease brush, and just blend it one more time, like that. So now we're ready to move on to the outer corner, and I like the Metal Mania palette because, I mean, they're metallic colors. They're awesome, and I use this one. This is a dark blue. And like I said, they really like the blues and the greens. They actually used um, specific minerals to get like a really, really dark ultramarine blue. I'm not using a dark ultramarine um, just because I didn't think it worked. And they used a really dark uh, malachite for the green. And anyways, this is just going to be the outer corner. So I'm going to apply that, even up a little bit into the crease. Or I cut the crease and then get it in there good good and pigmented and then I'm just gonna be blending it into my lid color so that it just you don't notice the transition I think that's pretty good and I'm going to be going and I'm going to be doing an inner corner highlight as well so I'm going to take my milk again and I'm just going to put a little dot on my inner corner and I'm going to blend it out. I really like these um, but I do suggest blending them out for sure just because I don't like the way that they just sit there. And I'm going to take a smaller pencil brush, more pointed, and I'm going to go in that, to that same creamy off-white that we used as a highlight and pop it into the corner and then blend it up into the crease into the highlight as, up on the brow bone as well and then you're good you're on to your liner and mascara we're in the home stretch so first I start off with a liquid liner um, if you don't like liquid you don't have to and I just go from the inner corner And I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. I'm just gonna follow the edge of where I did my crease, my cut crease. And then I'm gonna do my waterline and my lower lash line. So first I'm actually gonna start with my lower or my waterline. And I'm using Max Feline because it's a nice soft blendable one. And I just sort of lightly very very lightly drag pencil along my lash line not too hard because it is soft so it blends really easily and I'm gonna take a smudge brush and I'm gonna work it in there now obviously that doesn't look like my other eye that looks quite a bit heavier and for some reason it looks like my lighting went so I'm going to take a, a Q-tip, dip it into some eye makeup remover, and then I'm going to run it along the bottom to more refine that. So we're kind of done that. You can top it with a shadow if you like, but um, I find that if you just give these a minute, they will uh, really set themselves up really well, so I don't worry about it with these ones. If I was using um, the Urban Decay ones, I would definitely top it with a powder shadow. So then the next step is curling your lashes. Get that curl on there. And then mascara. I'm going to be using the Cargo Lash Activator. If you've read a, my review on this, this is a uh, lengthening, it actually has ingredients that lengthen your lashes, uh, but I find it, it works as a great lengthening mascara on its own without the ingredients. So like I said, I'm going to be applying that. My bangs don't get in the way. And that's that part done. So the last two steps, obviously, are, br are uh, blush and lips. 
So for a blush, I'm going to be using the Sephora Cream Blush. This one is in Coral Flesh, or number two. And they have these, it has a slight golden tone to it. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And just blend it back a little bit. That looks really soft because they weren't really into a bright blush they were more natural looking they preferred browns and slight pinks slight red ready oranges over uh, pinks and reds and things and then I'm going to be using the uh, glamour era from Mac which was part of their tropical taboo collection but you really you're just looking for like a brown toned lip color and I'm using a lipstick obviously and like I said they really like the natural look but because they said because everything I read mentioned that they really liked um, these two the green and the blue eyeshadow I decided to work with those to give them a more modern look and then I'm just going to top it off with Laura Mercier lip gloss in sparkling She's this really pretty, slightly golden nude. So that's it for, for this look. Um, the next look I think I'm planning to do is going to be... Well, maybe you guys should tell me whether I should be doing... Which one I should be doing. Um, the other three are Egyptian, Greek, and the Orient or Chinese uh, traditional uh, makeup of that time anyways. So hopefully you have a great day and maybe try this look out. Bye!